Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ankit Parikh and today we will be learning how to create a responsive card in Figma using auto layout. So let's get right into it. So first of all we will be creating a title and we will call it let's say my name Ankit Parikh and we will be using the font Poppins and we will make it semi bold and keep its size to 18 we will duplicate it and make it light and change its size to 8 you will change the text to the location maybe let's say Bengaluru India then what we will do is select both of these and hit shift a on your keyboard which will make it to the auto layout or what you can do is come here and click on this plus button which will do the same thing so now what we need is an icon so we will create three ellipses by hitting o on your keyboard 4x4, four four. we'll hit Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it, hit Ctrl D again, select all of these, hit Ctrl G, which will group them. And now to rename it, we, there are actually two ways to do it. One, you can select the group and hit Ctrl R on your keyboard, or you can select it and hit double click in the layer panel and this will give us an opportunity to rename it so we will rename it three dots now this is an auto layout and this is an icon we need all of them in one auto layout but before that we need one more thing which is an avatar so I'm gonna hit O again on my keyboard and make an ellipse. This time it will be the size of 36 by 36 and we will be using a plugin which is called Faces, UI Faces. Just hit on this, select the source, gender, emotion or hair color and click on app apply wait for a little and it will give you a good glowing face oh yes see so now we have an avatar all the text and the icon so we will select all of these and hit shift a on our keyboard so what it will do is it will keep them in an auto layout and since we know that objects in auto layouts can't, we can't move them freely so if we move them they will change their position so how do we make it proper so to do that first of all we will be coming here and changing the alignment we will keep it to the left and center but the thing is if we resize it there is nothing happening and we want it to be responsive so all we need to do is two things first of all we need to change this to pegged to space between and since we want it to stick to the left we need to change it to hug content to fill the container and it will fill the container but don't forget to change the same thing for these two fill the container it you might not notice anything but when you resize it this time it changes everything so now you get my point now the one and the last thing we need is an image so what we're gonna do is create create a rectangle 
go to another plugin that's called Unsplash. <coughs> and we will insert an image. Let's say it's a colorful image. Ah, we got it. So now what we need to do is give it a little radius of like 10 or maybe 8. Now again, we need another auto layout on top of everything. So we, we will you select both these things, the auto layout and the image and press shift A again. Now, all we need to do is select the image and change it to fill container in both the direction. So in that way, if we change, the image moves with it. But since we know we didn't change it to this, again, we need to change the auto layout inside the auto layout to fill the container. So now when you resize it, you see what happens okay we will change the uh, distance between all the spacing between items to 8 and again in the main auto layout we will change it to 8 again so now we have an auto layout but how to give it a fill simple click this plus icon it will have your fill now go here it will give it some padding around every element which we have created till now we will give it to 16 and we have it you can change the radius and maybe we can increase the padding it's too much for now and the radius too so here we have it guys so if you duplicate it and change the size, see how this icon always be in the right and the image and your font will be on the left and your actual image will always, always resize itself according to the container. Isn't that cool? That is the reason I like auto layout this much and this is it for today guys i hope you liked the video and enjoyed it learned something new and if you do create after anything after watching this video don't forget to tag me on instagram or dribble or behance or you can just send me your link to your work on my email id i will feature it on this channel thank you guys bye bye